Okay, here we go again. And we're going to do a DIY siphon water change tank hose holder. And I just saw this from other YouTubers, but we'll attempt to make our own. So here are the parts. And this is just a quick one. Well, I don't really have a measurement because I also did a, an eyeball um, with the measurements that I have here and got some help with um, people from the warehouse. So you need a cutter, some hose and um, holder, some tubes, some connectors, a pipe um, adhesive, and uh, this one is uh, the regulator that we'll be using. Um, the purpose of this one is actually to avoid that you would ask somebody's help just to uh, have the hose plugged into the um, outlet. And then, um, well, you can actually control the water flow um, going into your tank. And this is to avoid using your um, pail doing the water change so I'm just showing you right now how I am going to assemble all the parts together so as you can see these are all cut together and again I don't have any measurement you could ask somebody from the warehouse to help you out how to connect these parts or what parts you need to do this so what I did is I actually went there and show a picture and um, there's one that I follow um, in YouTube and he's actually doing this whenever that he's doing his water change and it's very helpful so the long part or where the uh, water will come out actually you could shorten that up or um, just measure it as to like if you would always do like 20% water change, 30%. So it, it's up to you how long you want that um, end part of the hose. So this is how you're going to do it. You're going to hang it over so you don't need anybody's help. And then you just go to the faucet, turn it on. And this regulator on the side will be your controller on how... Um, strong the water would come out and how you know if you want to stop it so just to avoid um, getting to the side and then holding that until your tank is full so um, as you would see here um, I'm trying to figure out with the hose as to how I'm going to attach the hose here uh, from this DIY that we're doing so still figuring out um, how this part works so I realized <laughs> I need to put the yellow thing there <laughs> and then attach this uh, to the black part to hold the hose and <laughs> well one thing there is that I'm twisting this all together well I guess you have to remove it so just you don't need to twist this whole thing like this faucet there so as i'm trying to figure that out i remove that again and as you could see it's a trial and error so what i did is the black part i screw it up uh screw it to the end of this holder and put the hose in well, the yellow um, screw part, that would actually hold that um, black part and hold the holes inside. So this is how you're going to do it. So the regulator, so the water comes in, coming from that hose, and then comes out of that um, like nozzle or the mouth of our DIY faucet. So what I'm doing here is just so simple. So as soon as you have all the parts, you use a pipe adhesive and then you just like somewhat paint the edge. And this is to avoid um, leakage also. And so that it would not leak into that joint parts. So I'm just trying to assemble it. 
And again, this is just so easy once you have all the parts that you needed. And also, as I saw, well, many um, hobbyists in, um, you know, uh, in fish um, hobby, they would actually recommend Phyton. And that's where I got the idea that you can attach something like this to your faucet and at the same time, it's multi-purpose that it is your siphon also and then well siphon would mean that you re that's how you're gonna remove the water from the tank and also you can use this when you need to refill the tank with water so this is just so easy as you can see here it's like gluing all the parts together like a jigsaw puzzle and there you go so it's done so you just need to let it dry and this is how tall this part is there you go so it's so simple right yep it looks so simple but yeah you just need to look for all the parts and um it's really 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 cheap and so i need to test it i attached the red hose to my faucet and then I turn the regulator, voila! Success! You have water coming out of our DIY, yes! So as you would know, trying to imagine, that's how it's gonna look like inside your tank. And yep, let's try that one more time. So there you go. I'm so happy when I actually turn on or that regulator have the water come out and also I don't need to use the bucket anymore that's the biggest part there so here's the demo inside my 75 gallon tank opening the regulator you can see the water comes out already and it's a success turning it off so it's up to you how you want the, the water to come out forcefully or not it's up to you Okay, so don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Hope Cusina 101 to see more of our adventure here in Aqua Fishy Adventure. And so till next time guys, see you then. Bye-bye now.